I had a fun story about uh, George Bush at that time, uh, when they finally lost the primary and they came and joined us, the Reagan Executive Advisory Committee, which was the kitchen cabinet plus me, and they joined, and George Bush sat next to me at the meeting there, and I just said, thank God you're here, George. I'm so tired of having these self-made California cowboys all around, and finally I've got a fellow Yaley. No, I think he's fifth generation. I'm third generation Yaley. And he just looked at me, he smirked, and said, oh, my God, and to think I went after you, Art. Well, it was fun. He was a very, very nice man. Barbara was the delight of the century, and uh, I supported him totally in his run for the presidency. Reagan had asked me to do that, even though Jack Kemp was an usher in my wedding, and even though I'd done the tax reform for Pete DuPont, uh, George Bush was our chosen person. And as you may know, the final quote was, uh, read my lips, which yeah, was sort right. of focused on me not... again. Did, did, did uh, President Bush ever revisit the voodoo economics uh, uh, comment with you? Did you, did you guys talk about yes, it? Because you, you were close to him, and you guys became great friends. But how, did, how did that finally? Well, it, it did. We made jokes about it. I mean, gosh, yeah. voodoo was, I mean, uh, the, uh, the Haitians were furious uh, because they take voodoo seriously. That was one of the jokes. Uh, another one is voodoo is the past blue perfect of VD. Or, and there were tons of voodoo <laughs> jokes. Uh, and and you know, only, only a Yaley can really understand and appreciate that you know there were so many fun ones with George Bush I mean it was uh, it was a shame that uh, he didn't follow through with this promise uh, he would have been elected to a second term it would have been a good term of his economics was not his gig he's a manager he's not an entrepreneur Reagan was an entrepreneur not a red manager but George Bush's management skills clearly worked out very very well in uh, managing the process of the collapse of the Soviet Union uh, of the Gulf War I got mean, one fun story of him I mean literally it wasn't with him but I was with Margaret Thatcher I spent a lot of time with her and she was very worried about the coalition and the Iraq war that it wouldn't get started and she was worried about George Bush in fact she used for the first time in my presence the word wobbly that he was wobbly and she said that if he doesn't get it started you know I've got some British troops in there I'll give them the instructions and they'll get the whole thing going uh, two things happened there number one she lost the prime ministership before the war started so she couldn't do the instructions to the British troops. And number two, George Bush was not wobbly. He started, he did it, and he executed it beautifully. Art, it was really fun time, I mean, good time. All right, go, go into the Wayback Machine for a second. That was a different time, right, where somebody could say something like voodoo economics, put those differences aside, and suddenly he's working in the administration. It's a different world today, isn't it? I don't know if it is or not. I hope it's not. Back then, it was a very contentious world. If you go out to the Reagan, uh, Reagan ranch and look at all those videos of Republicans and what they said about Ronald Reagan, it was pretty vicious, Not let alone what the Democrats said about Reagan. All right, they and, interviewed Romney for Secretary of State. I mean, uh, that, that what Romney said uh, but, uh, you know, prior to the election was 10 times worse than what George Yes, w. it was. Said. Yes, there were a bunch. George Bob H. Dole, what Bob Dole said about Reagan was awful as well. I mean, right. you know, you can go through a whole list of the Republicans. They've got all the videos there uh, at the ranch, and if you go through them all, they're, they're really, were awful, but Reagan wasn't that type of guy. He was a very congenial, good man. He was one of the nicest people on earth. I never saw him lose his temper, ever, ever, ever. And he wanted to have the best administration ever. And he chose George Bush, which I think was a hey, or, or, or great we, choice. So we did, we did the tax cut, because currently I'm shifting gears a little bit, just to, sure. just to get your opinion real quickly on where we are, because the market uh, has been turbulent for the last uh, six weeks or so. Uh, deregulation, tax cuts, things you know, we had a couple of great GDP numbers. Now we're back to wondering, you know, is debt too high? Uh, is the cycle ending? Is a recession uh, on the horizon? You know, not five years from now, but maybe a year and a half from now or even closer. What, what do you think? Well, right now, I don't see anything that would tell me that we're going into a recession. As you mentioned, the tax cuts are there. They're kicking in beautifully. They're really doing well. Uh, we've got the deregulation going on. I think that's wonderful. And I'm a huge fan of Powell's, to be honest with you. And I think he's done a great job in normalizing interest rates. And we do have a, a work in progress on trade. And uh, to, to be honest with you, it scares me. Uh, I'm not a negotiator. I'm not a guy who understands that stuff. So watching all of this play out in real time is terrifying to me. But the big one we have to left to do and that we really need to do is control government spending. And that uh, is, I hope, going to be the next agenda item for the president. And if it is, I don't see any reason for a recession. I think, uh, I think we're going to continue on a long, prosperous path uh, with the, the sky's the limit.
Art, one of the mm. things that's been interesting is, uh, and people remarked on, is the weakness in, in uh, business spending. The last couple quarters, it slowed down. Barclays remarked on it in a recent report. Are you seeing the kind of response you'd expect, or is this something that you're going to expect to happen next year in terms of the response of business investment spending to the tax cuts? Well, I don't really follow business expensive uh, investment spending per se. I follow GDP very, very carefully. And GDP numbers look great. I mean, you may have a weaker fourth quarter, but you'll have that. If you look at what happened with Reagan, once the tax cuts took effect from January 1st, 1983 to June 30th, 1984, that's an 18-month period. In that 18-month period, the U.S. real GDP grew by 12%. We grew at an 8% per annum growth rate. That's Chinese. If history is our guide, you know, I'm, I'm very optimistic about what's going to happen in the next two, three, four years. I'm, I'm really an optimist on the economy. And with Larry Kudlow and Steve Mnuchin and Kevin Hassett in there, uh, I feel very secure in that he's getting the best advice possible. All right, Art Laffer of uh, Laffer Associates. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, you get your Larry plug in there. Yep, Larry. Always yep. do. Yep. Always do. He's my best friend, so what can I tell you? <laughs> right. All right, great. Thank you.